Hello, hello. Hey. <laughs> Hi, let me turn this towards the light. I'm hiding in my dark bedroom again. Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hi. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. All right, like I had said that it was starting at one o'clock, and then I forgot that I had to have lunch with my grandma because it was her birthday. And uh, priorities, right? Family comes first. Yay! Hi! Hello, everybody! Hi, live! Hi! Ah, oh, I love Periscope. Hi, Jen. I love you. Oh, yay! I'm so excited. Yes, part two today, you guys. Part two. And, you know, I started with growing relationships first because, for me, it's the foundation of everything. If you're not good at relationships, it's so hard for you to network, and that's what we do. And so uh, today, part two, I'm talking about building your business. And so this is a kind of a two-part topic. I'm going to be talking about recruiting. Yay! I hate that word, but yay! I'm talking about growing your team. Um, yay! That's awesome, Lacey. Awesome. Um, and then I'm also going to be talking about, well, when your team starts to build, what the heck do you do with them now? So I'm talking about running a group on Facebook and I'm going to be talking about how do you empower the women on your team? So you can have hundreds and hundreds of recruits, but if you have women that don't know what they're doing, that don't feel a fellowship, that don't feel that love and connection with you, it doesn't necessarily mean your business is going to do super great, right? Or you can have a company of 50 women who love what they're doing, who love you, who want to work next to you, who want to walk beside you and be a beast of a team. So that's what I'm talking about. So, um, hmm, where should I start? I'm going to start with recruiting okay and first of all I really hate that word man it reminds me of like being recruited into like a football team or being recruited into the army <laughs> just oh, my husband just got out of the army and so I just I don't like that word this is so much more than that yeah 18 is awesome 18 is great and so um you know for me this is this was my first time in direct sales Okay, but it wasn't my first time in empowering women like that is my job. I am a birth doula. Um, I support women in their birthing time, which, as everybody knows, is probably one of the most difficult, crazy change where you need that power in a woman's life, maybe. And so my job before that was empowering them and supporting them. And um, I ran a really large Fayetteville, it was from Fayetteville, whoop whoop, Fayetteville in the house, uh, Fayetteville Natural Birth and Parenting Group. It was a Facebook group. And I started that when I first moved to Fort Bragg because I wanted a community of women that were like-minded. And it grew, 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 and it grew. <laughs> and um, it, it became a wonderful community, and subgroups spawned off because of it. And women developed these amazing relationships with each other. And um, it is still live and well. I've kind of passed the torch as far as adminning that group because I'm no longer in the area. But... I mean, it it was it was pretty amazing. Like women would move away, and they would still like this is my home group. And so, when I joined my company, this was my experience going in was empowering people and how to run an active, open, loving Facebook group. Um, and I so I'm not a recruiter per se. I love people. Um. I, so Amber Void is my sponsor. I am one of her first generations. Um, and so I didn't know her <laughs> when I signed up under her. Like I was referred from another network marketer, like, oh, sign up under her. And so I did. And um, so I watched all of her videos on YouTube. And she is really, really, really wonderful at explaining attraction marketing. So I have 67 personals. Um, I've been with Unique for 14 months and I have 67 personals and all but one came to me. All but one um, a approached me about the opportunity. And the one that did is now a purple status presenter. I got her. Uh, I got her. <laughs> she made me twitch. I saw her post. She was in another uh, company. I don't poach off of other companies, but um, I just knew that she would do so amazing. And she has. So I was right about that. Um, 
And so I use attraction marketing on my Facebook page, right? And I'm not gonna necessarily go into how to run your Facebook page, but I am going to talk about being a hunter versus being a farmer. Um, there are definitely are some more aggressive ways to build your team, ways that you are, you know, approaching people. And I'm gonna talk about how to do that. Um, but one of my favorite ways is to let them come to you. And there's a couple reasons for that. A, it, 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 it's easier right? It's a little bit easier. B, when people come to you, they're going to come in with more willingness because they're the ones who came up with the idea. You want them to come up with the idea. They're going to go in with more accountability for themselves, right? Um, you don't want anybody signing up just to do you a favor, you know, because then that's how much are they actually going to. Now, hey, kidnappers are awesome. I know I have several women who have done awesome being kidnappers, so that's super great. But listen, we don't necessarily make any money off of people joining we make money when they're successful. And this is one of the parts I love. If I was with a company where I got paid just for people signing up, it would kind of feel gross to me. I'm gonna be really, really honest. It would kind of feel gross. Um, I love this part about Unique. Your success is my success and my success is your success and we are all in this together. And so then you're joining a team of women who have your interest and all of our interest. It's just, it's like a big love fest. I love it. Okay, anyways. Um, and so I am me, I took note of the attraction marketing. How do I do that? Now I feel like I was already at a place personally where I had influence. Um, I have attended, I run a really successful birth business, so a lot of people respected what I had to say, and I never done direct sales before, so all of a sudden they're like, whoa. If Bree is saying this stuff is awesome, then maybe it's awesome because I've never seen her A, wear makeup, and B, she, I've never known direct sales, what? So I think it got that got kind of got people stopped in their tracks, but then I did exactly what Amber said. You know, she said, you know, we don't post negative things. We don't be controversial, you know, like if you're using your Facebook for your business page, you kind of have, and so I did. So I actually had to tame down some of the more controversial topics, you know, that I um, advocate for and stuff. And I still post about them because, gosh, I can't just ditch that part of myself. Like, I still had to talk about baby wearing and all of the stuff that are near dear to my heart. Um, but then I would, I would talk and post about how amazing Unique is and how it's absolutely changing my life. I would share all of my girls' promotions. If somebody in my cross line promoted, I'd share it because people want to see that success for themselves. I have never, ever, 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 maybe with the exception of last month, just because our kit was such a killer deal that I made more blatant posts about how awesome our kit is right now, posted to join my team. I haven't. I think maybe the closest that I posted to it was something of the sorts like, hey, I'm, um, Exactly, me too. Not talking about the negative, not giving negative any energy. Um, I would say something like, I have got three more spots this month for mentoring for your business. If you're interested in the opportunity, let me know. That was month, that was when I first started, right? I don't do that anymore. At this point, everybody knows what I do. So the planting the seeds on my Facebook page go like this. My life is 110% different than it was a year ago. It's absolutely amazing. Or how do I go from like empowering women during their birthing time to like empowering with women in entrepreneurship? It's amazing, but it's fulfilling just the same, right? And so right there, I'm planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds. And maybe somebody messages me right away and maybe they message me six months down the line, but they come to me. And that's a wonderful, easy way to build your team. Now, Bree, I've been planting seeds and nothing's sprouting. <laughs> I've been planting seeds and giving it sunshine and giving it love, but nobody is messaging me about the opportunity. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Okay, so there are ways that you can be more forthcoming and be more aggressive without being aggressive. Again, nobody wants to be hunted. Um, one of the things that just makes me twitch, like my eye starts going like this, and it happens a lot um, to me, and I don't like it, and generally, um, I'll tell you a story about this in just a second. Um, don't friend people and then immediately message them with a copy and paste something about joining their team and wondering about the opportunity and sending them a video. Uh, devaluing relationships, man. I talked about that a couple days ago. Don't do that. It doesn't feel good. Okay. 
ways that you can grow your business and plant seeds and be more forthcoming. All right, one of my absolute favorite ways of doing this is the three C's. And you're going to hear a lot of our top leaders talk about the three C's. All right, it's crazy, compliment, and confident. Um, it's very casual, personal, not a lot of pressure way of bringing up the opportunity with people without bringing up the opportunity to people. And it takes practice, but if you don't do it, you're not going to practice and you're not going to get good at it. And so something that you can do that's really, really wonderful if you're like, man, I need to grow, I need to grow, not growing, seeds aren't sprouting, you know, what am I doing? Make a list of 100 people. Challenge yourself to get 100 no's, right? First of all, when we're in this business, we got to get thick skin. No's don't scare me. They don't. There goes, there's the confidence, you guys. No's don't scare me. It's not for everybody. That's totally cool, you know, because uh, having people join my team that don't really want to do this, eh, you know, it's okay. It's okay if people say no. No is not scary. It's okay. So challenge yourself. Try to get 100 no's. So make a list of 100 people, okay? Go through your friends list. First of all, at the top of that list would be should be people that you think would be really amazing at this. Don't just limit it to um, moms who are, you know, at home and have a bunch of kids and, you know, whatever. Like, Think about really successful people. I know on my team, we have scientists, we have nurses, we have physician's assistants, we, you know, we have women physical therapists, we have women from all different rocks of life because this is challenging and it's fun and it's empowering and, you know, so don't limit yourself. Write down, make your list, make your list, and then go through. And first of all, uh, I give give yourself a little time to build relationships with people. Again, cold peop cold introducing this to people. Mm, mm. You know, I feel like your odds are going to be better in your favor if you already have a good established relationship with them. If you're already chit chatting with them. And so, here's my example for you about the three C's. Hey, Lori, how are you doing? Lori's doing good. All right, so this is gonna sound totally crazy, but I absolutely have to put this down on the table because if I don't, I'm going to kick myself for it. You are absolutely gorgeous and you're so smart. And every time I see one of the pictures of you on Facebook, I just think like, holy smokes, like you need to be doing this. Um, so I think that you would be an absolutely amazing, unique presenter. To no pressure, just putting it out there. I would just hate myself tonight if I didn't say something because oh my gosh, you're so gorgeous. That's it, you guys. That's it. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, it was just like, yeah, I'm not being salesy. I'm your buddy. I'm your buddy. But oh my gosh, you'd be totally amazing at this. And we do with a smile and we laugh at ourselves. We gave her a compliment. You were so stunning. I thought of you. Holy moly, I thought of you. Like, I just think that you would be amazing at this. She feels super special. You thought about me. And then like, eh, no pressure, man. Our relationship's not going to get ruined if you don't want to be a unique presenter. No worries. Mm. It is what it is. No biggie. You're done. Ball's in her court. She asks you questions that's super awesome. If she doesn't, no worries, man, because maybe she will in three months when you just shared one of your friends' promotion to orange status. You know, maybe, maybe. Who knows? But you open that door. You, or you put a door away there. And that's it's all good, right? See how easy that is? So easy. No biggie. No big deal. And you can do this. Hundreds and hundreds of times, you guys. <laughs> so we've already been overgrowing your relationships. You should be adding people. You should be building relationships. So those relationships are already established and they're based on good and it's based on love and there's a respect there. Um, and then, yeah, three C's. Rock my world. That's totally awesome. Okay. Um, wait, I was going to tell a story. What was that story? Oh my gosh, somebody remind me. I was going to tell you a story about something. All right. I forgot. I'll remember it in a little bit. Okay. Um, moving on. So growing your team, right? So maybe you've started to have a couple new team members. Maybe your team is starting growing and they're building some more team members. Then what do you do? So this is the way that I run my team, you guys. Um, and I run my Facebook group, which is where my team's home is. Um, cause we have women all over the world, right? Um, I'm going to preface this by saying this might not be what your sponsor does. This might not be what other black status presenters do. That's totally cool. 
listen, we sign up and we get to run our own business and we get to run it the best way we think it is. This is the way that I do it, okay? And I think my group is absolutely fabulous. <laughs> I think Team Awesome is awesome. And so this is this is this is this is the way that I run my Facebook group. So I started my Facebook group the day after I signed up with Unique. And this is why. I didn't know I knew that um my sponsor had a group, you know, and I saw the way that she was running it. I started a Facebook group because my very first recruit was my little sister. And I wanted to have a place where I could put the images and all this amazing information that I was finding and have it easy for her. And that is, that's why my group started right away. And then as I, my team started growing, everybody, and it, it, so at first, it was a place to come to be able to, to find images and information and make it easy. And then as it started to grow, it developed into what it is today. Um, my Facebook group is a secret group. Um, it is an admin only post, which means that anybody can post. Um, I don't have admin approval posts. It means anybody can post. Um, someday, maybe my has to be admin approved if um, the pay, you know, if it just gets too busy and good posts are getting lost. I understand why people do that. I'm so grateful I haven't had to do that yet. Um, I do filter, absolutely, if a post starts going super duper negative, like we just talked about, man. Negativity in your group is just as toxic as it is on your Facebook page and your Facebook um, personal profile. Um, and sometimes, you know, we're all different. You're talking about a group with lots and lots and lots of other women, and sometimes things go south. I actually don't have to delete posts from my group very often. I don't, and when I do, always reach out and message the woman whose post I deleted. A, to let her know, like, hey, I'm not trying to muffle you. Like, what you're saying is being heard. Let's hold hands. Let's hug. And let's go find your problem out, you know? And I let her know that this is how come, you know, you know, because it, 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 it breathes, it breathes, it breathes. And you don't want that on your team page, but you don't want to ever feel like somebody can't speak. Um... Another thing that I do with my team group is these women, it's their group too. It's not my group, okay? It's their group. I just was the one to kick the create button, okay? My, the women in my, and that are in my cross line, right? So they financially have no gain off of each other. We are a family. We're a family, Okay, we don't hide ideas from each other. We don't not help people that need help. We are a family and we love each other. And the woman who just signs up is just as important as the woman who is a purple status presenter. All right, and so it's an environment where everybody feels comfortable to share their ideas, to ask questions, and no question is too small or too silly. And so let me tell you about what happens because when you're running, when you're building your group and you're building your business, that, um, it, that is really, really important. If it was up to me to know all of the things, my team would be screwed. <laughs> Listen, I'd never done direct sales before. I never hosted an online party before. When I, some of these girls signed up weeks after me, we run together. Their ideas is the reason I'm a black status presenter. If it's an environment where I was overshadowing their awesomeness, I would not be a black status presenter. If it was an environment where it was my way or the highway, I would not be a black status presenter. If it was an environment where my elite cross lines, if those girls didn't develop relationships and share ideas with each other and mastermind with each other, even though there is no financial gain for them doing that, I would not be a black status presenter. All right. They are what got me here. Them loving each other, them sharing the, each other's images, them supporting each other. That is what you need to create. You are creating a fellowship of women. All right, uh, well, we are herders. We are group people. Human beings like being a part of the group. We like being a part of churches. We like being a part of sports teams. We like being a part of clubs. We are, we like, it feels good to run in packs. You're creating a pack. 
Okay, so it's so much more than the file section, you guys. It's so much more than the, the videos I post out or tutorials on how to host an online party. And it's so, it's so much more than that. If it was just about the information I'm feeding my team, I would not be a black status presenter. I have women that have been with me, you know, my personal retention rate of personals is really, really good, which means that I have women that stay with me. Um, and it's because they just like being a part of Team Awesome because it feels good, because they feel better because of it. You know, everybody comes in with a different why. Some women's whys aren't to become a black status presenter. Some women's whys are totally cool, you know, making $100 a month. Whatever. I just like being a part of your team. They are just as valuable and just as important than the girls who are throwing three, four thousand dollars PRS a month. Just as important. Okay. That means that um, all my attention doesn't get my elites. They're your rock stars. I don't have to babysit them. Like my attention and my nurturing is always with the girls that A, seek me out and B, that absolutely need it. And they tell me that. And so... The environment that you create needs to be one of positivity and of love and of greatness. It's not, um, you know, Amber Boyd likes to say your ego is not your amigo. Uh, Team Awesome is not the Brie show. <laughs> it's not the Brie show. It's not about, uh, I, of course, participate as much as humanly possible and I help inspire. You know, you cannot motivate people. You can't inspire them. And you do that by creating a place where they feel better because of it, where they're like, man, I am a leader. Do you know most people come in here not knowing that they're leaders? And did you know that the key to success in this business is that we create more leaders? So if you are not giving them a platform where they can figure out that they are leaders, that they are smart, that their ideas are awesome and they are valued, then you're not creating that. You know, sure, there is so many women that come in and they are inherent leaders, right? They are, they just shoot to the top. But you know what? Most people aren't like that. Some of us come in and we've got horrible self-esteem. Some of us come in, we're so shy that it is just petrifying to think about talking or blitzing or to doing anything like that. Now you create an environment and you nurture these women that, hey, you're with us. We're all doing this. We get no's, we get this, your selfies are beautiful, you're beautiful, and you can do this. Man, you're going to get women that walk hand in hand with you forever. You know? And so it's about so, we like say it's about so much more than makeup. It's about so much more than business. I um, like to think that my group nurtures that. And so, okay, so back to uh, like recruiting. So listen. If you aren't comfortable starting your own group right away, I know there's lots of different opinions on this. I have never put a timeline on when I think my girls should start groups because you know why? It's not my business. It's their business. Not my business. It's not. <laughs> it's their business. Not my business. Um, don't say like, I don't think that you should start your own group page until you're a green status presenter. What? That's crazy. If you don't let women know that they're leaders, how are they going to figure out that they're leaders? And do you know what? The women on her downline joined her, not you. They joined her, not you. Yes, my second, my third, my fourth, my fifth, my sixth, I don't even know how generation steep I am at this point, um, are all on my team and I love and nurture and talk to and encourage every single one of them because they are all on my team, but they joined their sponsor, okay? Which means that I am super, you know, I gave a... Um, the class I did at conference was on recognition, which I'm huge about. I love, I could talk about it for days, but listen, it's a very fine dance. Like for instance, um, uh, I had, um, Kinsley, what, what, giving you a shout out. <laughs> Kinsley, she is a fourth generation of mine, right? She has been nurturing this German team, right? She, when we launched for signups at the beginning of the month, she got recognized by corporate for all of her German signups. It's super exciting. I saw that and it was really late at night and I was like screaming in bed. I was so proud of her. I was like losing my mind, but I had to stop myself. I could go shoot it from the mountains, but I'm kind of stepping over the, the toes if I do that of 
her sponsor and her grand sponsor and her great grand sponsor. She's my fourth. Um, but I just couldn't contain myself. So you know what I did? Because I don't want them to think that I'm going over them. I mean, you're empowering leaders, which means the three women in between me and her, you need to be empowering too. So I tagged all of them in the post. <laughs> I tagged them all. Tag everybody. You guys are so awesome. Look at this. You know, I tagged her entire team to let them know that shout them all out at once because we are empowering people. So you don't step on anybody else to get to anybody else, right? You know, so if I see a second generation or third generation promote, it's not my business to give them the recognition as their sponsor. If their sponsor is not doing it, <laughs> I absolutely will because it happens. You know, I have third generations who bumped up to my second and fourth generations who bump up to, you know, and that's, that, that's the way it works. We need to be open to love everybody, but you need to be aware and observant and um, not to step on anybody's toes. Remember, we get to the top by empowering other leaders. Yes, that's what we do. So if you're disempowering anybody by the actions you're doing, you are working against yourself, you're working against your business and you can hurt some feelings. Um, and so we need to be really, really aware of our actions on our team page. And um, yeah, but gosh, holy smokes, we love everybody. It's amazing. It just blows my mind. Like I have 67 personals and of that, my team is um, getting close to 1500. What? That's like a family tree that I had this much to do with is for people personally enrolling under me, you know? Um, I'm also, I want to talk really quick about um, legs of your team and what happens when somebody stops working. All right. So I've seen this happen where a leader of the team, a leader of a team stops working our business, right? For whatever reason, whatever, some of us decides it's not for us. Sometimes we have life come up. Life happens, man. It's okay. It doesn't mean that you failed as a leader if one of your girls decides she doesn't want to do this anymore. However, when you have a downline and you have a team, you have a responsibility to them. If you decide this is not for you, if you decide that you're not working your business, they're watching. They're watching, you guys. They are watching. I don't know how they know, but they know when you're not working your business. You're a leader. You lead by example, right? So um, half the stuff that I do on my Facebook page, of course, it's for my work, but it's for my team to see, like, this is how you work. This is how you work your Facebook page. This is how you have an online party. Holy smokes, I'm in the trenches. And the way that our business is designed is that if you stop doing the basics, if I were just be like, I'm a black status presenter now, guys. I don't got to recruit no more. Who needs online parties? Whatever. PRS. <sighs> I'm making my team, my money off my downline. I wouldn't be a black status presenter. <laughs> Maybe I'd hit it once, but I'd never hit it again. Um, yes, I will. Uh, I can recommend some. Uh, I, I will. I will recommend some. Uh, go to Amber Voigt's page, first of all. She's an amazing recruiter. Um, okay, back to focus. Um, so always reach out if I see somebody who's all of a sudden and, and you see what's up with them. So make sure that they're okay. First of all, like we don't want life. Sometimes life happens. So some girls aren't really great at sharing that. So we just check in, but you don't want to check in for a way being like, Hey, I know that you're not working your business. You know, we don't want, we don't pressure people to work their business. If they decide, then I will go in and I will build relationships with their downline because like I said, I've seen it, and the chances are this might happen if if the leader start stops working and the whole team stops working, and that's because they joined her, not you. You know, so building relationships with your entire team is going to give you better odds that if one leg starts to have some issues, you're not going to lose the entire thing. Okay, um, so I that's why I love everybody. I don't even I'm half the time I don't even look to see where women are in the totem pole of generations. Like that means nothing to me. Um, we are all, you are a part of my team, you know, and we're all, I love them all just the same. And I do, they make their, they bring me to tears on a regular basis because I love my team so much. Um, okay. So that is in a snippet kind of how I run my team, how I run my group. Like really my group kind of runs itself. It's, uh, it's very, very important. You guys, it's very, very important that you are creating an environment where people feel better because they're part of it, you know, and personal development is absolutely key. Um, we've talked a little bit about recruiting and attraction marketing and we don't, we aren't huntresses. 
Although if we need to be more aggressive, there are ways, hundreds list, three C's, practice it. Um, there's lots of opportunity videos. Uh, GoPro and Amber Voigt recommend, um, you know, asking questions, you know. When somebody does message me about the opportunity, I don't vomit all over them. First, you always have to think like a consumer, man. Think like a consumer when you're throwing parties. Think like a consumer when you are posting on your Facebook. Think like a consumer when you're talking about the opportunity. Um, there's this really wonderful thing that, look it up, it's a figuring out what kind of person you're talking to. Are they red, are they blue? It's the colors, color thing. Can't remember all the colors right now, but look it up, the color things. So pretty much what that is, and this goes back to part, part one and building good relationships, are you listening? If I were to get a person who is kind of an emotional person, they're not really over talker, they get really, 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 really overwhelmed when too much information is thrown at them. If they ask me like, hey, Brie, what's up with this unique thing? I'm kind of interested. And I were to like word vomit all over their messenger and give them like 30 minute long videos to watch and tell them exactly about the compensation plan and, and just vomit vomit all over them, there's a big chance they're never messaging me back, man. So generally, and the same thing I do with sales, um, is the same thing with the opportunity. I let them convince themselves that this is what they need to do um, by letting them talk because they've because we've already established that people want to be heard, right? And if you're so busy talking, then you aren't actually listening. And so I'm like, oh, awesome. Well, what questions can I answer for you? That's what I say. They might not give a hoot about <laughs> free website fees. They're like, what the hell is an auto ship? I don't care about that. I want to know how much money I'm going to make when I sell a mascara, you know? So I let them, so what are you interested in? Oh, well, and then there, and then you have the type of people that want to know every single snid bit of information. But when you open that door to let them talk, they'll tell you that's what they want. So and we keep it cash, man. If I have given somebody information and they don't message me back, I don't hound them. Maybe a week later, I'll be like, holy smokes, I have been so busy. Um, I'm just following up if you had any more questions for me. That's it. And she's like, no, I think I'm good. Awesome. Just let me know if you need anything. No big deal, right? We're not afraid of no's. We're not afraid of no's. We're not, no's? I have a two-year-old. We're not afraid of no's. <laughs> It happens. It's not anything against you. It's not anything against the company. If every single person could sell mascara, it would be a beautiful, beautiful world, but it's not, man. I mean, the reason I chose to go into direct sales was um, one of my friends ended up becoming a top earner in another company. I knew there was no way in God's green earth I could sell what she was selling. I didn't like it. I wasn't into it. It was not me, you know? So that, and I know that several friends that I've inspired them into direct sales and they joined other companies because they, they don't make up. I do, I do not do the makeup. That's cool. It's cool. What else? It's no big deal. There's your confidence, you know, um, man, we empower everybody around us, not just the people on our team, not just the people that just want to sign up, not just the people that buy makeup from us, everybody, you know? Um, it's, it's really, really important. And man, I wanted to share a story and I completely forget. Does anybody remember earlier? Um, did I mention I had brain surgery seven months ago? Did anybody remember, um, earlier on I said I have a story, but I can't remember. Let's see. I get worried if they don't get my excitement. I get worried if they don't get my excitement right away, then they wouldn't be interested. All right. Um, I need you but good. Exactly. Exactly. And you do need to be excited. You can be, ex you didn't say what it was about. I forget. I'll periscope later. If I remember what story, it was a good one. What was it? I can't remember. Gosh, darn. Okay. Um, you have to be excited. This is like, it is mind blowing. You guys, holy smokes. I have women that came in on welfare who didn't know how they were going to buy their babies diapers that night. I showed them how. We get paid every three hours. Unique pays us before they get paid themselves. We are empowering. I am a feminist, you guys. I love women. I love empowering women. I love free enterprise. I love entrepreneurship. I love performance-based. When I'm talking to you about the opportunity, it's exciting because it is. 
It's revolutionary that you could pay $99 and a year and a half later retire your husband. That's, that is amazing. I, you can tell me no all you want. I'm walking proof and I can name 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1,500 women on my team that I could tell you the exact same thing. I'm confident in what I do, man. You know, so it feels weird. I understand. But if you, people feel that hesitation from you when you're blitzing them or when you're talking to them, they'll get nervous too. If you're nervous, they're nervous. Okay. Like Amber Voigt, Amber Voigt, she posted a live blitzing today. Gosh, don't you love Periscope? She's awesome at blitzing, man. If you notice, I've noticed whenever she's traveling, she has this wave of recruiting right? Because everywhere she goes, she blitz. She makes friends on all of her travels. Watch it. When Amber Voigt travels, Amber Voigt's recruiting. And that's because she is so confident in what she's doing that people trust her and they're not nervous. So the only way to get good at blitzing and the only way to good, get good about talking about the opportunity is to do it. Aww. Yes, you could do it. You could do it. <sighs> um, is to practice and it's kind of scary like I think the first couple times I blitzed like I was like at a bakery right and this girl like had falsies like it was very obvious she had falsies and luckily it was when I uh, I had was I still do it sometimes I when I done and when I not done and I go up and I swear I was shaking <laughs> with my blitz card I was like shaking shaking and then but it was cool you know and also when you are listening, I can talk to somebody and they will tell me what's going on in their life and I will find a way to talk about the opportunity. Sit me in front of somebody for any extended period of time and I will sign them up within that time period. And I'm not doing that to toot my own horn. I'm doing that because that's how absolutely amazing this is that I don't have to sell you on anything. And actually, I don't sell you at all. You sell yourself. <laughs> You know, for instance, I went to get a pedicure the other day. Can't, can't, you can't, you can't do my nails for two hours and us not to talk about what do I do? Oh, actually, I sell makeup on the internet for a living. Really? Yeah. Unique. Have you heard of it? Oh, yeah. 3D fiber. We're famous for 3D, 3D fiber lash, but our entire line is super awesome. It's, it's absolutely amazing. I've never done this before, but I make money on Facebook and this is what my life is like now. And it's pretty amazing. They're like, really? Oh, I could do that. And you can see the seeds, right? Because I'm not selling her. I'm telling her about my life. I'm not selling her anything. I'm not asking her if she wants to join the opportunity. I'm telling her how flipping amazing my life is. You know, I just got back from conference. You know, we we help women who have been sexually abused. I, I have the best job ever. You know, I have the most amazing team ever. This is, I don't have to sell anything it sells itself so if you're listening and building good relationships then you will see the doorways where you can talk about the product and you can talk about it without going up to somebody with a shaking blitz card would you like to try my lashes you know it's cool i was like that and then you get used to it because i want to succeed so bad and i know i need to grow my team so much that every single time you walk out that door you are working clock in, clock out. Seriously. Um, you know, I couldn't leave my house for about eight months. You guys, like I, um, got really, really sick a month and a half after I signed up with unique, really sick vertigo. I could, I couldn't drive. I got into car accidents when I drove, couldn't drive. And then I had brain surgery and I broke my foot right before brain surgery. And I had purple status that month. Um, and I was wheelchair bound until January. And, um, so I physically couldn't get out and blitz. I couldn't, I wasn't going to play dates. I wasn't really even going to the grocery store when I did. It was on my motorized thing. Asked me about my lashes as I'm like running into people on my motor thing. But it, you know what? <laughs> listen, you can build good relationships where you listen with people if you're stuck at home or if you're not. Um, I would much prefer to be able to get out there. And if you can get out there, then you don't have any excuses. Every single time that you leave the house, we are walking, walking advertisements. We're walking advertisements. This is the reason I signed up with Unique, you guys. Um, 
we get to wear our product. We are our own billboard, right? Um, you know, it's I, I didn't pick to go with an oil company because I couldn't necessarily just dis physically display my oils, you know, or my wraps or, you know, whatever you're selling. If you're selling that, that's totally cool. I'm not knocking you. I'm just saying this is how come I chose Unique because I am my walking billboard. How many conversation openers, right? You look awesome. Oh my gosh, thank you. I just got this new lipstick. It's exclusive this month. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you. You know, I mean, seriously, you have so many chances to connect with people. And when you're connecting with them and you're listening to them, they're going to be interested in you. It's super simple. So part one, if you are, is that the August? It is. It is. <laughs> it is. And I've actually been wearing it for a couple hours. This lipstick is pretty amazing how it stays because I'm a lick. I'm a lip licker and my lipstick usually doesn't stay. It stays really great. Okay. Anyways, see makeup. <laughs> it's so easy to talk about and we share, we don't sell and we don't ever have to sell. We don't ever have to recruit. If you love what you're doing and you have absolutely no problems telling everybody about it, then it just kind of comes. And when it's not coming, when the seeds aren't sprouting, then you can be more aggressive without being aggressive. Yes, convo starters from being able to wear the products. We are so fortunate. So, you know, it's it's absolutely amazing. I feel like it's one of the reasons that, well, it's one of the many reasons that I absolutely love Unique. There's lots of them. So, all right. I think that I covered, you know, nurturing your team, running group. Can, can I, you know, I'm going to take some questions. Um, I was kind of scatterbrained today. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, so does anybody have any questions about recruiting, about running your business, running your team? Well, Sam, you're gorgeous and your eyeshadow is always on point. That doesn't surprise me. That doesn't surprise me at all. We've got gorgeous blitz cards in our back office, you guys. So if you don't have any, they're wonderful. I like them better. The last C. Okay. It's, I always forget. It's crazy, compliment, and confident. Use the bronzer. The bronzer has that pretty shimmery. That's awesome. Uh, crazy, compliment, confident. If you're not confident in what you're saying and what you're doing, then people can sense it. They get nervous. So yeah, the three C's. Learn it, love it. You know, I there was a boot camp basics several, several months ago. And somebody talked about your elevator speech, right? So it's really good to know what you're gonna say so you're not stumbling over your words, right? It's it's really good of like what's your crazy compliment confident, right? What you're gonna say to people in that situation, like now I don't even think about it. I usually say generally the same things, but also you don't want to be a robot. You know, people can tell when you're copy pasting in, even in real life, um, what you say. So it really, and also, like I said, it needs to be, you know, it needs to be customized for the situation that you're at. But man, if you don't know, if you don't know your why, if you don't know why you love unique, write it down. It might help make you a little bit more confident about what we do. You don't have a regular phone number yet. Well, what do you should you put on your Blitz card? Hmm, that's a tough one. Now you know you can get pay as you go phones, um, where you could have a phone number and then um, they have to have a way to contact you. I guess you could leave your phone number off and just put your website. I mean, they can always contact you through your website or your email address, and then just maybe make a small order of cards and then get more when you actually have your phone number. Ah, uh, it's a German number, right? Google voice number. There you go. Change labels with curtain numbers. Yeah, exactly. You know, just order a small amount of cards until you know that you're going to have a, a permanent number. Absolutely. But Blitz cards are great. I carry with them everywhere. I mean, there's so many opportunities that you can just, you know, you can drop them or you can leave them at a table or, you know, you got to get out there. We have to grow. If we're not growing our business, <laughs> you know, we don't promote past pink without a team or past yellow without a team. Like, obviously, it's a very important part of your business. Um, and the more relationships you're making, the easier that should be. Yes. Grow your business. Grow your business. Grow your friends. Grow your business. <laughs> Managing your business. Um, being confident in your business. Loving your team. Pretty much then. Do we have any other questions? Um, I'm still, I feel like I'm like postponing this because I'm trying to think of the awesome story I have, but I can't remember. I have lots of awesome stories. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Um, um, probably 
that's today, Thursday, Saturday, will be our part three. I'm not 100% sure on what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure it's going to be party time. Breeze world, party time, excellent. <laughs> we got to be partying. We got to be partying. We got to be partying. I'm still partying, you know, so that's what it's going to be. I mean, you guys, tis the season to be partying. If you are not having online parties, you are shutting off a ginormous part of your business that needs to be happening. So this is what we were going to be talking about on Saturday. Yes, party training. And you know what? There's so many different ways to have parties that a lot of times people feel really limited. And so part one, part two, go into part three. Like I swear there's a method to my madness. Building relationships, building your team, and partying, you know, it's all encompassing. And if you are being a good listener and you're building good relationships, you're nurturing and loving your team and you're training them to do the same, partying, you're going to be bringing people into your team and you're going to be building good relationships. Do you see what I did there? Mm. Yeah. So anyways, you guys, I am going to say over and out right now uh, that I'm going to upload this to YouTube in a little bit. <sighs> Sorry if I talked a mile a minute. I get really excited about talking about my team and growing. It's really, really important. So, um, all right. I love you guys. I love you. All right. Bye, ladies. See you later.